today the topic of discussion is b3 and in b3 we will study introduction of b3 and properties of b3 and these properties are so important that without having a proper understanding of properties you won't be able to insert any element in the b3 and you won't be able to delete any element in the b3 so hope you understand what is the importance of properties so this video of uh, b3 is one of the very important video because this is the basis uh, this is the base of entire b3 so let's start with uh, b3 introduction so introduction is what b3 is a self balancing tree no b3 is a self balancing tree uh, we we do have other trees uh, balancing trees in most of the other self balancing trees search like if we have a abl tree which is also balancing tree black red black tree it is assumed that everything is maintained in a memory so if we talk about other other trees uh, we we assume that everything is maintained in a main memory you know that there are two kind of memory one is main memory that is called ram uh, or it could be anything and second is called secondary memory that is hard disk fine that is called secondary memory and you know that uh, the size of ram the size of ram is very smaller than is is very is smaller than size of hard disk uh, if i say about my uh, laptop its uh, ram is 8 gb but hard disk is 1 tb fine so it's very less so and you know what proce where processing takes place uh, processing takes place in ram so all the processing takes place in ram so uh, we assume that uh, for such trees like abl and red blank tree everything is in main memory but what about uh, b tree then to understand the use of b tree we must think of huge amount of data but if if we are taking a b tree then we have a huge amount of data that cannot fit in a main memory so our data which cannot fit in a main memory b tree data cannot put in a, cannot fit in a main memory fine when number of keys is high because there are so many keys so when number of keys is high the data is read from disk so when number of keys is high when there is large volume of data where you keep that data you keep in hard disk you keep in disk uh, and the data is read from disk from the uh, from the blocks so in uh, in disk uh, data is stored in a form of blocks disk access time is very high so the time to access ram is low but time to access uh, is high time to access disk is high fine is is very high compared to main memory access time fine okay then then what happened what i am trying to tell you the main idea using b3 then the main idea using b3 is to reduce the number of disk access because we know to access disk is very high the time so now we have to since we have to access the disk now to reduce the disk access most of tree operation search insert delete min, uh, min etc required order of h disk access time where h is the height so if i talk about if you want to search if you want to insert if you want to delete minimum maximum whatever you want to find in a tree then it takes order of h time where h is the height so r because if height increase disk access increase so our main task is to reduce the height then see b tree is a fat tree so b tree is a fat tree fat tree means, fat tree means whenever you have seen a fat man uh, fat man or fat women always has low height always has low height so in a similar fashion b tree is the height of b tree is kept low why because we know to access disk uh, the complexity is order of h if will keep h low then our disk access will be low by putting maximum possible key in a b tree node so what we do generally if we see a normal tree b tree bind if we all normally see a binary tree or bst where every node has only one element fine but in b tree there are more than one element fine like this 2 5 8 and 12 12 so there are more than in a node if in a general tree in a general tree a node contain only one key but in b tree a node can contain more than one key because of that this is called fat tree fine now use of fat tree generally the b tree node kept size is uh, size is equal to disk block size so the size of b tree node is kept equal to block size fine is kept equal to block size since the height of b tree is low very true mm -hmm. so total disk access for most of the operation are required significantly compared to balanced uh, trees such as avl red black tree so since the height is low so obviously if height is low then required time uh, to access a disk will be low fine so this is the main reason behind creating a b tree this is the main re reason behind creating a b tree now comes the very important part property very 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 important i'll keep i'll i'll keep on writing very 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 because this is really very important very very important because if you don't know these concept it will be very tough for you to understand so i'll not read those concept i'm simply writing and then i'll i'll make you to read from yourself uh if a node is represented by x suppose there is a node 
which is represented by x suppose the name of node is x then what is nx nx is number of element in x what is nx number of element in x so if there are 2 7 9 and 13 so how many uh, well what is the value of n 4 so 4 so if a node is represented by ix then nx is number of element in node fine so you can see that uh, nx what is the first property the first part of first properties nx is the number of key currently stored in node x where x is a node fine okay then second property all those element which are stored in a node are always stored in non decreasing order non decreasing order means increasing order that is 279 you cannot keep something like this 2 7 13 and 9 it's it's wrong because if 13 is coming 13 should come after 9 so it's a right thing so second first uh, second property of first property is that these elements should be like that that is key 1 should be less than key 2 2 will should be less than key 3 is less than key 4 and what is the meaning of non decreasing non decrease what is the difference between non decreasing and increasing what is difference between non decreasing and increasing in increasing we always has a number greater 2 5 7 9 but in non decreasing you could have 255 five, something like that fine these two elements could be equal fine okay so this was the difference because of that we are keeping a sign equal to see because of that we are keeping a sign equal to now third i'll not read it's not important so first property is clear first property is what if a node is represented at s as x then nx represent number of element and all those element are stored in non-decreasing order second second property each internal node x also contain n plus one pointers child that is if a node is x having n elements having n element the number of child it will have n plus one if n is key then n plus one is child fine how i am saying one this before two one between two and seven one one between seven and nine one between nine and thirteen and one uh, after 13 so if there are n number of keys in a node there will be n plus one child fine this was the second property fine so if i am saying there are three element in a key so how many child four child one two three and four child fine okay so if keys are n then key uh, child will be n plus one fine okay third property all those child will have value uh, if i talk about uh, child value suppose this is k1 and suppose this is key one then k1 should be less than key one fine all those elements will be coming here will be less than two that is minus one zero or one it, it is only possible fine you cannot put more than two over it all those will come here will be between two and seven that is three five six fine okay that is if i say k2 then this will be greater than k1 k2 will be greater than but less than k2 but less than this is k2 fine so this is what the third property is all about and you know that very well so this is what written over here fine okay so let me make it very clearly very very clearly so that you can understand so if i am writing something like this if suppose this is a b3 2 uh, instead of 2 i should take 5 9 and uh, uh, 19 you say so here you have element less than 5 suppose 2 and 4 here you have element between 5 and 9 that is uh, suppose 6 and 8 here you have 9 between 9 and 19 suppose you have 10 12 and 15 and after that you have greater than 19 that is 20 25 it could be 1001 also anything about 19 fine so there are four child you can clearly see number of element 3 so till now the property you understand fine fourth property all leaf have same depth you can clearly see if you go back all leaf have same depth all leaf it should not be like that any of the element is coming like that it is not a b tree then all the leaf because this leaf is at another level and these leaves are at another level so this is not possible so all the leaf node so if it is a b tree then all the leaf node will be at same level F fifth property and very very important property very very important property so i make you example with the i, I make you understand with the example of balloon have you seen balloon every yes you you definitely you might have seen balloon if you have seen balloon then every balloon in this world every balloon in this world has a capacity you cannot blow air inside air you can blow you cannot blow infinite time air uh, one stage will come where this balloon will burst where this balloon will burst similarly if i talk about b3 node then there is always a limit that number of element you can put 
it, it doesn't mean that you can put infinite element in uh, in a node there will always be a maximum limit and there will always be a minimum limit that is how many element you can put inside the maximum element how many minimum element you can put inside a uh, in a tree so that depends so the maximum element and the minimum element there are lower very important there are lower and upper bound on a number of keys a node can contain very important that is a node can contain there is always a upper bound and there is always a lower bound the, these bound are expressed in terms of fixed integer t so the how to calculate these integer that depend on t t is a degree t is a degree t is a degree t is called degree and degree value is greater than and equal to 2 why greater than equal to 2 because if i consider a node having only one element suppose 5 definitely there will be at least two children if there are five, if there is only one element so definitely at least there will be two children at least there will be two, two children so degree will be at least uh, two or greater than two fine since we know that in b tree we can put more than one element we we can put more than one element so definitely this t will be either two or greater than two it cannot be less than two fine so uh, it's called the minimum degree so this is called the minimum degree of b tree now comes the question what is the maximum element you can put what is the minimum element you can put so if degree is t the maximum element you can put is 2t minus 1 and if maximum this is maximum keys if keys are 2t minus 1 then child how many child you can put child is always greater than key so one greater than so 2t minus 1 plus 1 will be 2t minimum number of element will be t minus 1 the minimum number of element will be t minus 1 and child will be one greater that is t this is for all node including root this is for all node that is no node in a b tree can have more than 2t minus 1 element and this is for all node except all node except root a root can have one one element a root can have one element except root all other nodes should have at least at least t minus one so what is the understanding if i'm saying degree my three has a degree three so any node can have maximum two t minus one that is two into three minus one that is any node cannot have more than five element any node cannot have more than five element and minimum number of element that is t minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 that is 2 any node except root cannot have less than 2 element fine so hope you understood what i am trying to tell you so this is what clearly written this and this that maximum is 2 t minus 1 and minimum is t minus 1 except root other than root see it has written the root but if i talk about 2t minus 1 2t minus 1 is applicable for all for all there is no exception there is no exception this is applicable for all there is no exception and you have to you have to keep this particular thing in mind unless and until you keep all those properties in mind you won't be able to solve the question you won't be able to solve the question so you have to keep this thing in mind that that uh, if you want to solve the question then you should keep these particular properties in your mind fine okay so at last so what is order so let me write uh, this, this this fifth property can also be represented with order this fifth property which i have represented with keys with degree can also be represented with order and what is order let me write let me write what is order o r d e r order is maximum number of child maximum number of child if i said b tree order is b tree if i'm saying b tree order is five so what is a node can have maximum five children a node can have maximum five children if a node can have maximum five children then how many key a node can have four obviously because we know that child are always one greater than key so if child are five key will be four so if question is given on the basis of order then then in that case if you want to calculate how many a key node can contain that will be one less fine if i'm saying a tree design a tree having order seven so how many element a node can have obviously six element fine okay 